Hey everybody, welcome to game two of set three between Masuchi and Rancor. Masuchi taking the last match with a Zergling Flood. Rancor starting the bottom left hand corner as the red Zerg. Masuchi starting the bottom right hand corner as the purple Zerg. And this is turning into, I think, a decent matchup. It looks like Masuchi this time is going to have the advantage of the Zerg Scout with the Overlord. It's kind of a weird thing to say in a ZVZ, whatever. Rancor scouting upper left-hand corner, so unfortunately he's going to be in the dark, but keep in mind that can flip around in case of, depending on tech, mutalisks, uh, things like that. But yeah, thus far, it seems like Masuchi, so sets are even, 1-1. One, one. It's clear that these guys can take games off one another, and that's what I think is going to turn this into an absolute brawl. I would not be shocked to see this go to seven sets. And... That is actually why I handpicked this game, because I figured these guys would fully embody the Fighting Spirit Mania ethos in their ability, in, in this set, in, in this range. And I'm happy to have this in the meantime. VSL Season 14 has started up, so go ahead and check that out. I'm trying to harass Tom Brady in the meantime on Twitter to get him to start playing Brood War. Uh, in the meantime, it looks like we are seeing a nine pool for Rancor in the bottom left hand corner it looks like we have an over overlord opening are we seeing an overpool it looks like we might see a 12 hatch for masuchi no just kidding i take it back snuck a drone in between there so it looks like he's in fact going uh yeah so he's going 12 pool technically 11 pool i think but basically 12 pool which is going to put rancor at a disadvantage and on top of that, he is going to be lacking a little bit of the scouting information. Masuchi is going to be able to see it coming, so he's going to know how to respond in kind. So a lot of disadvantages for Rancor to start off here. The Zerglings are being produced right now. Now, here's the trick, though. The Zerglings are going to flood out. There's going to be a brief moment as the Zerglings are coming out where Masuchi... Uh, actually, it's not going to make a difference. I take that back. Not a lot of the larvae saved here, though. There is the... Drone transfer now, but yeah, basically this is just all advantages to Mizuchi. It's not insurmountable. We've actually seen Rancor come back from this exact scenario earlier in the sets. But currently, six Zerglings produced and six Zerglings are on the way. It looks like because of this Overlord Scout, that is one advantage for Rancor. He knows exactly where Masuchi's spawn is. And Masuchi actually grabbing that natural expansion hatchery and pulling drones off the line to defend it. So right now he's a little bit, he's gonna be for a slight period of time behind economically because he does have the drones off the line and actually moved them out a little bit too early. So might end up losing a drone potentially. It looks like there's not additional links flooding this direction for Rancor. He might in fact try to save them. He's got layer tech morphing. So he's gonna be down economically. He's gonna be back a layer, but he is getting superior mining happening in the meantime as those drones are pulled off the line. So I like what he's doing here, but now Masuchi has a superior Zergling count, which is going to cause Rancor to go ahead and back up. Might try to seal off his ramp. The drones have continued mine. It looks like Zergling speed was upgraded. Double creep. Sorry, sorry, I take that back. A creep colony being dropped and a spire. Wow, that was a fast layer. So I don't even think Zergling speed was upgraded. This is clever from Rancor. He's going to pocket these Zerglings to the six. Does Masuchi realize it, though? There wasn't an Overlord to see the direction they went. He's holding position here. The Creep Colony's up. This might be enough Zerglings to punch through that. That's a difficult position to kind of sneak through, but the Overlord, a single Zergling able to sneak across, and these Zerglings going to be able to sneak across the line, which is going to be a big advantage. That Spire, about one-third finish. The Zerglings making their way in this side of the main, but the Creep Colony is there to greet them. In the meantime, there's no Creep Colony on the opposite side. A cancel of the lair, which is going to delay that even further. And it looks like drones are going to get taken out. Dr Zerglings engaging. A fake creep colony being dropped on that. And another creep colony being dropped as a... Or never mind, this is a proxy creep colony to try to attack this lair. There is an additional creep colony that's being dropped in this position. The Zerglings have killed all but one... Sorry, four drones on this side. More Zerglings have been produced to potentially clean this up on this side of it. And that's a big amount of Zerglings on Masuchi's side of the map. Rancor... Just needs to defend this sunken colony, get some more Zerglings out, and potentially get a Mutalisks up in the air, and he will end up winning this. With the positioning of this sunken colony... Oh, that's unfortunate. This sunken colony can't attack. A single Mutalisk will be able to attack this. The question is, is will there be sufficient time? These Zerglings sacrificing their lives. And this might be a situation where Rancor needs to pull everything off to keep his lair alive. So it's going to be a fight 
wow, this is crazy. So it's going to be a bit a timing thing of how much damage does this lair take? Can the Zerglings follow it up and take it out? Is there going to be a, enough resources afterwards? The Zerglings flooding through, not waiting for it. The Mutalist coming off the line as well, working on the sunk colony to the south and to the north. The drones pulling off to try to defend. The drones fighting a bit off. Two Mutalists up in the air. They need one of them at least needs to work on the sunk colony that's been working against this hive or against the lair. But there needs to be defense on the opposite end. This sunk colony defends that southern position. In the meantime, it looks like some spore colonies are up for Masuchi. The Zerglings do damage a lot more rapidly, but it is 13 drones to just two. The drones now trying to drill across those Zerglings to the northern Sutton Colony. It looks like this Sutton Colony is going to get taken out. The Zerglings mostly getting cleaned up, and that is GG. Masuchi calls it there. Nice try by Masuchi, and it looked like it was going to be close there for a minute, but Rancor pulls out. I like the proxy Sunken, but just way too far behind in overall drone counts. Hope you guys enjoyed it. An intense game too. Rancor evens up set three. And we are going to move on to set four. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.